so many of you were asking me to make something for event poster animations and here is the idea that i have come up with i hope you are gonna learn something new from this video if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button it motivates me to make new content for you every week so with that said now let's begin all right so here you can see that we have provided all of the assets required for this particular project and i have also included the particles as well so right now what i'll do i'll just drag and drop the image one that is our main image and i'll scale it down a little bit and i'll position it over here okay and after that i'll create a new background so i'll name it as bg and there i'm gonna add four color gradient i'm gonna select a particular color and just uh, increase the size of it okay and for this color point one i'm gonna give it a white stone and for this one as well and i'll drag that over here and now just place this bg under your image one after that i'll just lock this bg layer and now i'm gonna type in a text let's type in live and i'm gonna place it over here behind our image one and after that i'm gonna add an effect that is fast box blur so i'll set a keyframe on the blur radius over here i'll press ctrl shift and right arrow key to move forward 10 frames and there i'm gonna make it 25 so it will blur out like this and i'm gonna press ctrl shift and right arrow key again and there i'm gonna make it a zero okay so now press u and here you can see all of the keyframes over here now let's ramp it so here you can see that it is blurring like this and it is giving us a pulsing effect but i want this effect to be continued throughout the composition so for that what i'll do i'll just quickly add an expression and that is loop out now let's see here you can see that the effect is continuing throughout our composition and we are getting a pulsing effect over here right that looks cool now after that what i'll do i'll just quickly create a new composition and name it as two drag and drop the composition one and i'm gonna make it as a 3d layer now i'll create a new null object and name it as control one and now i'm gonna parent this to our null object okay now hit s and shift r and shift p also make this one as now here you can see that we have z rotation we have scale and we have position so i'll set a keyframe on the position scale and z rotation as well and i'll press u to reveal only these three keyframes okay now i'll just drag that a few frames forward and there i'm gonna increase the scaling of it just like that and i'll change the z rotation as well and i'm gonna change the position like this so it will come up like this here you can see looking cool now select these three keyframes ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste okay now i'll go a few frames forward and there i'm gonna again zoom in and i'll change the z rotation like this okay and there i'm gonna change the position as well so it will come up like this here you can see and after that i'll copy these keyframes again i'll paste it by pressing ctrl v and there i'm gonna go over here and i'll just copy these three set of keyframes and i'll paste it over here so it will go back to our normal position and now let's ramp preview here you can see fine now what i'll do i'll just select all of these keyframes and i'll easy ease and now let's ramp preview it all right and after that here you can see that i provided some particle animations just drag and drop that and position it over here you can zoom in and there i'm gonna change the blending mode so i'll press a4 and change it to screen so it will look like that let's change the hue and saturation of it so i'll just change it to something uh, that matches our composition 
but one more thing here you can see that we are seeing a lining over here so quickly fix that as well i'll just select this one i'll go to the ellipse tool and just press shift and create a circle over here you can place it and press f and change the pixel so it will add some feather and here you can see that now it is blending properly right i'll just duplicate this particle one more time by pressing ctrl d and now i'm going to place it over here okay so now overall it will look much much better right now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking pretty pretty cool okay now let's create our third scene i'm going to again copy this uh, bg so i'll press ctrl c and i'll do ctrl v for pasting and here i'm gonna drag and drop our image to over the bg and just place it over here type in another text and let's type in set it behind our image too and just increase the size of it like we did previously and after that i'll just create a new rectangle okay and increase the size of it perfect now we are going to use this one for animation and i'll name it as matte and just place this one above your text layer and set the track mat to alpha mat and after that i'll press ctrl shift and p to add a position animation and i'll drag this one a few frames forward now i'll just drag it like this so it will hide here you can see perfect quickly copy this thing by pressing ctrl c and i'll do the same over here ctrl v so it will add an animation over here let's ram preview it so here you can see and after that i'll just add the smoke layer above our mat and also one more thing i want to add i'll add smoke 2 as well and let's just add it over here and i'll press ctrl d to make a copy then r and just place it over here so it will look like this perfect now just unsolo these two layers and at this position let's select all of this layer press u to close them up and select the matte layer there i'm gonna create a mask so make sure that here you have selected tool create mask option and now press shift and drag it like this and place it over here and just double click you can tweak the shape of it like this perfect now i'll press f and i'll just add some feather so that the text blends properly like this perfect now just unsolo this layer here you can see the text is blended properly over here okay and after that here you can see that i have provided a flower png image let's just drag and drop that and i'm gonna place it over here and i'm gonna add a tint effect on top of that so just select the color to something to our main color this select the color like this uh, just drag your mic images that i have provided already so i'm gonna change the rotation like this and i'm gonna press s to scale it down ctrl d and let me do that quickly for you and i'll show you after that fine now it is looking good uh, i'll select all of the mic images and i'll change the level color so that i can find them easily so i'm gonna mark this as yellow and after that let's just lock this layer the bigger mic select these three mic images and i'll press alt shift p and r to set keyframes on the position and rotation now i'll press u to reveal these keyframes and after that i'm gonna drag them over here okay fine also go 20 frames forward and then just drag these mics again and this time i'm gonna add some rotation animation as well 
so you can just rotate it like this now let's ramp preview you just need to copy these two keyframes as well so what i'll do i'll just place them over here i'll place these keyframes few frames forward and then i'm gonna select these keyframes ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste now let's ramp preview here you can see it will look like this perfect now one more thing we need to do we have to place these three mic images behind our image too so i'll just drag them behind our main image and i'm gonna crop them over here now let's ramp preview the final composition i'll add a new adjustment layer so i'll press ctrl alt and y to add an adjustment layer i can add a transform effect over here and there i'm gonna add a scale animation and position animation i'll press u i'm gonna quickly scale in and i'll change the position of it as well to over here and let's just position it like this and uh, to add the text animation i'm gonna use a free script and that is animation composer and there if you go to starter packages you get a bunch of uh, free preset to add animations so i'm gonna use this overshoot and position animation and after adding that you can see it is looking like this pretty awesome right now i'll just duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and i'll press it over here nice now when the transition complete i want this scene to go back so for that i'm gonna go again let's close the animation composer and i'm going to again to our adjustment layer and there i'm gonna add another keyframe and i'll press ctrl shift and right arrow key to move forward 10 frames and there i'm going to press it reset so what it will do it will go back to our normal composition and at this position i'm going to crop the text layer as well so it will look like this okay fine i'll select the mic image and i'll press p to reveal the position now i'm gonna press alt and left click to add an expression and let's type in wiggle and two comma 10 so it will give a subtle wiggle animation to the position here you can see it is changing the position right here you can see if you want you can uh, increase the number let's set it to 5 and now let's see it will move pretty fast but i don't want that i'm gonna add it 2 and i'm gonna make this one 20 i hope this will look good perfect now just copy this expression so select that right click and select copy expression only so after that i'm gonna select another mic image and i'm gonna go to position and i'll press ctrl v to paste that expression and uh, i'll press double e to reveal that wiggle expression again and i'll make this one 10 so the images are small so we don't need a much higher number of position changes right so again i'll select that copy expression only and i'm gonna paste that over here and over here as well now let's ramp preview the entire composition and let's see how it is looking also i'm gonna add an animation for the bigger mic as well so i'll press position keyframe and i'll just drag it outside of the frame like this now just select this keyframe and easy ease i'm gonna do the same for all of these keyframes as well easy ease now let's ram preview perfect and after that 
let's make the final composition so i'll create that and now here just drag and drop your third composition that we have made and your second composition as well and i'll place it over here and here i'm gonna add a new transition so i have provided that as well just drag and drop over here and change the blending mode to screen now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking yep looking pretty awesome right so i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial make your own version of it and share it with me at motion.rex on instagram i'll give my feedback to all of you as well so with that said now this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next one keep animating keep smiling goodbye